What's up, YouTube? My name is James Schleisman, and this is my coming out story. I'm just gonna kind of condense it and give you, like, a brief overview, skipping a bunch of the pointless details and just kind of getting to the point of how it affected me, not really focusing on the experience I went through, but more so how it changed me as a person and how it made me the man I am today and how it shaped my life. I... I've known that I was gay since I was very young, and I just remember the first gay thought that I ever had was um, I was at school and we were playing on the playground and I just thought, hey, you know, that kid's really cute, and it just so happened to be a boy. I didn't understand why I couldn't say a guy was cute and how girls could, and you know, how guys could say girls were cute. You know, at that time, I didn't really understand what being gay meant and why it was so unaccepted. Growing up, I went to a private Catholic grade school and being gay was basically out of the question. Being gay is a sin and, you know, you burn in hell if you love another man or love another woman of the same sex. I was a little feminine and because of that, Kids used to beat me up and, you know, spit in my food and steal my lunch and make fun of me all the time. I was, I was bullied all throughout grade school. And when you are told every day that you are worthless and that you don't deserve to live because you are different, you start to believe it. And there was a very low point in my life towards the end of grade school where I contemplated suicide multiple times. And I just kept going because, you know, as soon as those thoughts entered my mind, I instantly, you know, told myself, life is so much better than this. You know, it is so much more worth living for than to let other people get to you and to let them beat you down and let them win. It wasn't about me letting them say it, it was about me letting them win. They wanted me to give up. They wanted me to check out from life. Just knowing that pushed me. I just Every day I woke up and I said, I'm not going to let them win. I'm not going to let them take over my life. I'm going to live because it is my right to live. Segue into high school. I was just mentality like, you're not going to be the kid that sits down and just lets people make fun of them. You're going to stand up for yourself. You're going to fight back and you are going to be damn proud of living. All the while I was still kind of in denial. You're not gay. You're not gay. You can control this. I tried to like box off this part of me inside my head and just ignore it, like sweep it under the rug and just don't act on it, don't think about it, don't even let it enter your mind. So I tried to force myself to like girls, and it wasn't that I wasn't, you know, good at it, like, I, I could talk to girls really well, I was very comfortable with them. The romantic interest was never there, like, I almost had to force myself to do it. And it was just always so strange to me, like, I just always felt wrong doing it. Why do I have to do this? Like, why, god damn it, why do I have to like girls? And then, you know, I answer my own question, because it's better than being a pariah. It's better than being made fun of, put down, and treated like you're worthless. And I knew, sure as hell, I was not going to go through that again. The whole straight thing. I dated girls, I, you know, had relationships, I had hookups. I tried it out, and towards the end of my senior year, I just kind of gave up. I was like, girls are just not doing it for me. Like, I don't know what to do. And then I got into a relationship with a girl that ended up completely changing my world. We started dating that winter, and towards the end of summer, I called it off because I still had this in the back of my mind that you're gay, like, you know, what, what I wanted to, I wanted to explore and I wanted to know what this thing was that was eating at me on the inside, making me feel like I was missing something in myself. I just, I had to know. I. I had to know what this was, and so I get down to college, and I join a fraternity, and for some reason, my interest in girls just stopped. At the end of my pledge semester, I went home for Christmas break. It was just an escape from school, from my fraternity brothers, from the ridicule, the questions, the, are you gay? Like, why won't you just come out? You know, like, you should stop being someone you're not. It's not... 
I'm gay because you say I am. It's I'm gay when I'm ready. And don't take that away from me. Do not. Like, this is my choice. And they didn't get it. And looking back on it, I know they were just trying to help me be who I was. It was just, you know, they saw that I was struggling with it and they wanted to help. And I kind of took out my frustration with my own psychological problems about accepting myself on them. I came out that following February, officially. I woke up from a deep sleep. I remember the dream that I was having, I was running. I was trying to escape something and finally I just stopped and I was like, why are you running? Face this monster, you know, face whatever the fuck is chasing you. And I turned around and I just woke up and I was just sweating and I ran to the bathroom and just stared, like I washed my face and just stared at myself in the mirror and I admitted it to myself. I stared myself in the eyes and I said, you are gay. And instantly just shoulder weight fell, like everything just crashed. I felt good saying it. It's just the feeling of saying it to myself for the first time, admitting it. That song, David Guetta, Titanium, like when that came out, I was like, this is my fucking jam because this is exactly how I feel. Like I am titanium. I'm pretty sure that came out a long time ago, but whatever. That, that At that point in time, it was really cool because that song was like exactly how I felt. You know, like when songs are just like how you feel. Anyway, sorry. So I came out to my roommate right after that, the next day actually, and he was really supportive. And you know, he, he pushed me. He's like, you need to come out to the fraternity. Like, just come out, like tell them. Like, no one's gonna judge you. And I was so nervous because they had been giving me so much shit about it. One day I just stood up at our chapter meeting and I said, I like boys and there's nothing I can do to change that and it was really awkward and like everyone like, got real quiet like and then like I remember one of my brothers stood up he's like about fucking time and like everyone just died laughing and they were just like we don't care dude like you you do you and you know we'll love you either way like you're our brother like we will back you up if anyone says anything about you we will beat the shit out of them like we got you, man. And I'm like, yes, success. And I just kind of like had a checklist. I just went through and checked off everyone that I came out to and like everyone was supportive. I don't think I had a single negative experience. You know, I came out, I came out to my family after that. And I know that you're supposed to come out to your family first. Usually like that, that's kind of how it is. Cause they're just like, you know, it, it's just like, they're just so important but I was so afraid of rejection from them because they were so important to me that I just came out to them last and they were all very supportive and I actually came out to them at Easter. I kind of came out like to everyone at that time and <laughs> it was funny because my, I remember my grandma told me, she's like, Jimmy, we already knew, like this is old news. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you could say it, you know, to everyone, but we already knew and I was like, Okay, fine. Ruin the special moment, why don't you? Just trying to be special. But yeah, they were they were all very supportive and they you know, they knew, they knew, they always knew, and they said, you know, we've known and we've always loved you. We just wanted you to be happy. And you know, when I came out to my grandpa, he was the one that I was worried about because he's the, kind of the patriarch of my family and like he's right wing conservative and you know, I was worried about coming out to him, but when I did, he was very open-minded, and he said, Jimmy, I love you no matter who you sleep with, or no matter who you marry, you know, I want you to be happy. Um, you know, if you're gonna bring a guy back to the house, I wanna make sure that he's treating you right. He said, I, I do not feel like this is a choice. You are born this way, and I will love you no matter what you choose to do. And that was kind of the pinnacle, the, pin the pinnacle of it. That was the, that was the, the crescendo to my coming out story because you know there really wasn't anyone else to tell and all the people that mattered in my life fell into place and just fulfilled my dreams of coming out they just the best possible way it could have gone it did and having that come out of what I went through as a kid just made it more gratifying because being at rock bottom where everyone is hating you physically hating you for existing to going to everyone accepting you and loving you for who you are and not caring 
who you hold hands with down the street and who you kiss in public and who you sleep with, who you marry, who you spend the rest of your life with. That is what made the difference for me and that is why I am making this video because I want to share with you how something good can come out of something terrible. How our experiences in life help us to become the people that we are in the future. You know, another thing that kept me going was the golden rule that I learned in, you know, one of my first classes in kindergarten. It was, you know, treat others as you would yourself. I live my life by that. I treat others the way I want to be treated. And, you know, from how I was treated when I was in grade school, I do not hold any resentment to any of the kids that bullied me for that. Granted, I don't, you know, seek them out and try to talk to them about it, but you know, if one of them were to approach me, I would bode them no ill will because I thank them for what happened because it made me into the person I am today and it made me realize that life is too short to spend it hating people and holding grudges and cursing people and creating conflict. It is too short to waste your time worrying about someone else. Just focus on you and do you and love who you are. And that is my coming out story. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment your opinions below, comment your experiences. You know, what, what did you go through when you came out? What did you, what, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? What went right for you and how did you overcome what went wrong? I love feedback and I love reading other people's stories, so let me know what your experience was. Or, you know, if you're if you're straight, tell about an experience about when a friend came out to you. Like, how did you feel? How did you react? What went through your mind when that happened? Just, you know, kind of give your opinion. Tell it. Tell it to the world. And enjoy yourself. Treat yourself, as one of my favorite YouTube channels says very often, treat yourself. So. Um, treat yourself to an experience. Treat yourself to love. Love yourself no matter what people say, and love yourself no matter who judges you for anything.